Boom. Boom. So every time you hit, you Five. hold with your body weight. Okay, so you can pivot, then so it comes I'm up. Holding, I'm not just holding it straight, I'm holding all of him. All right, so this is just here, just to, just for good look. So it's hit, hit, hit. You see what I'm saying? This right. is like you're throwing yeah. a baseball. Boom. boom, boom, just constantly. So that's how I do that. So whenever I get, whatever, whatever inch I take from Danny, Danny doesn't get back. Right, right. So give me a good hold here. And being inactive in a match, if a match comes to a standstill, the man that is not working will probably, because you got the little, you hit, your body responds, it's little micro twitches. Your body has to respond. <laughs> like if I poke you with a, a needle or a shot pointing object, mm -hmm. you're gonna, I don't care how, t unless I tell you it's coming, mm -hmm. you don't, you're gonna react you're to gonna it. You're gonna react to it. Even still, you still and feel, and you, you're fighting yourself to keep from getting right. that reaction. So once I'm here, there's my hit. So I'm holding. So I continue to throw my weight, but I, I never, his way further I, in never the I never get back. Further here and outside my so once you get to here, and you're laying out, don't be in a big hurry. If you can't pin, who pins Wait. Wait. Burn them out. Because guess what? Somebody's going to have to make a move. And this guy's eventually going to get tired of staying here. He's so he's sitting there holding me. So I've got the advantage. So Dan's sitting there holding and holding. I can see he's close. Right. So the hits are also telling me how much he's got left in him. And they're getting me closer to where I want to be. So I'm here. So now then I'm going to rotate my hits. So now I swing up. And it's fast. I mean, it's real fast. So I'm so sitting there. Give me like four hits and do it. Okay. Just do it like boom, boom, boom. Show you what you're talking start about. Start from here. Okay. So if we were starting from the thing and he gets me, boom. Okay. Okay. It's the coolest fucking move in the whole business. Boom, fast. Cool as shit. No hesitation. Just lay it on, lay it on. Boom, but if you get down there and you feel strong, wait. Wait. It's camp. Just hold it. You and then where you can make the pin, and then make the pin where and you for can instance, make the pin. And for instance, come back over here. So let's say he he's got a lot left in. <coughs> so you're down here. Start bringing it back over. Okay. Rise up and get right in behind it. Yeah, because now I gotta get through his shoulder. Now, I'm not fighting just his hand, I'm fighting his shoulder. And everything's super tight, everything's locked in. I would want to keep moving him and try to get him past his shoulder. Right. Okay. Or so if you feel him start to bring him back, jump up, get behind your arm. Yeah. Okay. The worst thing they can do is say, hey, you foul, they stop the match, or they give you a running foul. The fact is you didn't do that, but you want to prevent getting in. Right. Whatever it takes. Yeah, pretty much. You just gonna take your all your clothes off or something. Oh, off. there you go. I mean, I have nothing to show. <laughs> got a nice belt, a nice knife. Make sure Lil knows. Did you say coming to get so. you at 745? What? Make sure Lil knows. Yeah, I know Lil knows. I can't message anybody anyway. Oh. So. But I mean, she knows to come, she can come on in, right? She knows to come on in. She's not going to just wait and grab it with me. It's like 745 now, right? I just say it's about 710. Oh, okay. Okay. Because I got here about 630. 709, 710. You can turn the clock yet. Okay, same thing with this one. Mm -hmm. But uh, this one I pull completely different. Me too. I have to. So this is my weak hand, and I don't use it a lot. I don't even really care about this arm. Mm -hmm. I still care about it, but I I haven't completely <laughs> thrown it away like he has. Yeah, I'm but, just kind of. So like, where I'm here. weak, where I'm weak on this arm, instead of just being able to overpower people with brute strength, and he has to use more technique. I got to be technique and, and be smart and patient. Timing. The last time we pulled time, left, timing. I was stronger, but he just outweighed me. He, well, here's what he did. He got the right here. Well, guess what? I ain't strong enough to pull all Doug back up to the damn table. <laughs> he just stood there. He said, go ahead, big boy. I got you all ass. And then he eventually just, boom, he had me. Same, it's, the same, it's the same principle uh, with the hook. Yeah. So we're up in here. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Sit, go. I'm well, here. So then I'll just legal. keep climbing. Right. And that's legal. And that's well, it. Legal. He's good. If he's on this side all day, what do you think about 12 o'clock? Wait, wait, so now you're at a top roll now position, and then fingers. you come up. So now I'm right behind that shoulder, and or then you drive. You can go there, or you can roll into my fingers. Right. And roll out. Or if you're, or if you time, you're sitting here, you come up, like you're going to drop, and he's going to do what? You're going to come closer to me, right? Bam. And then drop right back down on him. Let get them the use arm. their momentum. Wait for them to make a mistake. Because as they rise, because there's, like, one thing I've noticed in the world of arm wrestling. I'm not the strongest one here, but I can watch everybody pull and I can tell you exactly how to beat. Uh, I can tell you how you beat Javier. Can I beat him? I can't, but if somebody had a quote and strength to him, or maybe slightly less, I can show him how to beat Javi. So Javi's a pure top roller. That's his so Javi's main move <laughs> is he starts High in the pad. Yep. Everything he told you. Okay. So then what Javi does, he starts high, he gets up high on his hand. He don't get over top of it. 
Right. He gets up real high on his hand like this. So then in one solid motion, he keeps all this back. He doesn't bring his arm back. He drops his whole body. Yeah. So I can't hold 150 straight back. So he drops his whole body back. Then whenever he does that, that opens you up. That opens up your big... And then with that freakishly strong wrist of his, he takes it. And then he just drops his body. Right. And even if he gets you here, you're kind of... Javi doesn't pin you with his arm. Yeah. He pins you with, with all of this. Plain and simple. So if you were to take out the wrist equation, in order to beat Javi... You would grip it. Low. You would grip low as you can get. If the right. ref lets you get away with that, you can. You can grip as low if as you can. Get, if you want to get away with that, you can. So he's going to go roll over. Okay, so I'm going to try to get so Whatever he does, you want to roll out. And we're in fingers. And this is a fun way. It looks like it would hurt like hell. But like if we don't. end up there, if we're just literally just right here, it's just side mm. to side. It's more or less focused across your finger and the pressure, pressure in the hand. Here. And it the comes right in here. here to your main flexor tendon. Your flexor tendon is the biggest tendon in your forearm. And that's the one that, that the straight bicep well, gets you will get a lot. Pain. And you're going to get sore here, so. Right. Mm -hmm. But do some some light work on it tomorrow, no matter yeah. what it feels like. Yeah. Uh, you will feel it. I mean, I think you will. Just depends on how conditioned you are. You're going to feel it in your muscles. You're going to feel it in your tendons. Your tendons, yeah. Yeah. So Inside elbow pads, no jump. Do some light stuff. If you take it seriously and keep coming to practice. The first year, year and a half, yeah. you're not going to be happy. You hit the two-year mark, I rarely get pain yeah. anymore. And add them JM presses I was showing you. And do what you can. And it will increase your bench. When you do JM presses, it will make your bench go up. Your regular yeah. bench. But I'm going to tell you right now, regular bench don't do nothing for arm muscle. Yeah. Well, they say that, but I'm going to tell you something. If you're a strong individual and you bench a lot, you probably might want to flip these. To where it's for riding. See, much more elbow room. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. It's bringing good strength starting out, ain't he? I just told him be careful with that strength that it don't stronger than his tendons. Just I told him I said if you get in a bad position, Doug has saved my my arm from breaking my arm. He's had me in arm break positions many times. Yeah, thick thumb. I know. What well, do you do for a living? Mechanic. Okay. Hey, Eric. <laughs> try. You're mm -hmm. right. Okay, you're definitely set up wrong. Yeah, thank you. I was like, something's not right. Something don't look right. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good job. There's something he's missing now. I like the way he curls it in, but there's something. Is that what it is? He's pushing down. He's not trying to touch all over you, but I mean, when you're doing that, if you see what he could do to fix it, do it. Because I'm. I can't see it from my side. That's what I was saying. He can't see it. I don't know. You definitely look more natural setting up left. Like you look like a natural left. The way he sets up left, it's so much better. He's looking a lot stronger. But you know why? Because he's not as strong right, and he has to rely on technique. You're trying to get to where you're not going to be weak. Okay. He's got a good fast hit too, don't he? He's got a good hand. We got Eric Woody coming over from Virginia to train with us. Nice. Strap. So if you slip and you're in a pin position, yeah. it still counts as a pin. Yeah. So was that good though? Yeah, the, yeah. Yeah. The flip was good. Really good. Try to put more pressure. Whenever you go for a flop like you're doing, yeah. don't rise so much on gripping with the thumb. Really trying to hook on with the fingers okay. as you're coming down. There's not really a whole lot of thumb play into it. Okay. Like for instance, if I were to come over here, today, okay. first so time pulling with us, he said really he's been interested in the sport for a while. Really just Got him in here, getting some work, getting him trained up to keep him safe. Yeah, yeah, just like getting that. some gains. So for the flop, completely dump your wrist. Okay, so get no, 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 like that. There you go, Doug. What do you know about that flop so now? I don't like it. <laughs> so really put pressure on the fingers. Try to dig them in now. Drive, 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 drive. Boom. Can that feel better? Yeah. Okay. So if I just let my thumb go straight. Yeah, just give them the thumb. The thumbs are relevant. Because well, by that point, you're holding on with their fingers. And they got to go through your fingers. They don't have to go through your thumb because they're trying to rise through them. Right. Also, if somebody gets you in, uh, I don't try to hold on to Xavier as much as I used to. I can't. Because if, if, if you hold on to him, you're giving him what he wants. I don't exactly. hold on to his hand now. But he's got this stupid grip. I'd hate to be his pecker. <laughs> I mean, I bet you he cramps down on that motherfucker like that. 
I just couldn't imagine. I wouldn't want to be his dick. Uh, there's no way. <laughs> I'm telling you, 